the tall one of three remaining trunks of a silver maple in our druid backyard, covered with vines all the way down to where the second tree, or the second trunk, fell down across the tree, all the way up to the other bank, a long, long way across there, across the tree. What remains are some more logs to cut and the base, which is really, really big and hard to cut with a short chainsaw. Here's another of the logs. How many years do you think there are there? The second one fell about a year and a half ago, right across to the back yard of our north neighbor. Here's the trunk where it all started out. That's the recent trunk that broke off right here. And you can see it's somewhat hollowed out. As it goes up there. For some reason, the original owner or the grower of trees here all the shavings on the chainsaw decided that he would start trees with three seeds at the base and so we have this other silver maple which is still remaining on the west end of the house one two three and it goes up and up and up and up and up only one of the three has lots and lots of vines on it, as you can see. The other two do not. Where will it fall? And there are some mulberry trees next to our yard, and they have broken off also. There's the remainder of one of the trunks and our white pine got clipped off at the very top about five years ago and it's bifurcated and grown two trunks from its base. So that's the situation here at the Druid backyard. We have lots of nice rows of Sharons here. As you can see here, both white as well as purple ones. And here's a th third maple, but it's a red maple. And it also has three base trunks and seems stur sturdio, sturdio, sturdier than the other ones. But who knows what will happen to it. It looks very beautiful in the fall. So that's the news from the Druid backyard about the trees that are growing and falling.